Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to another episode of this free Apple Notes course where we'll be focusing on folders. On the folders column, you can create new folders that you can store locally on your iPad or in the cloud. To understand the difference, we recommend you watch the orientation episode we did for this course. It is the first episode. You can name your folder and tap done to save it. To create levels for your folders, drag and drop one folder over another. You can also open a folder, then add a new folder to it by going to the three dots icon. Apple Notes supports five levels of folders within folders. The app warns you when you try to create a sixth level. The Notes folder is a default folder where Apple Notes keeps all the notes you don't save in specific folders. It is available for both your local and cloud folders, but it does not support any levels, so you can't add subfolders to it. You can also move subfolders between parent folders by dragging them from one folder and dropping them into another. Alternatively, go to the three dots icon and move this folder, then choose where you want it to go. You can also long press the folder you want. Under the three dots icon, you can rename the folder. Select Notes lets you select multiple notebooks so you can move them to other folders. Tag them. Or delete them. You can also sort your notebooks by date edited, date created, or title, starting with newest first or oldest first. You can also group by date if you want your notes to be grouped according to the dates in the folder. It makes it easier to find what you're looking for, so we recommend leaving it on. View Attachments shows you all the attachments in the app, not just the ones in the open folder. To delete a folder, long press it to bring up the pop-up menu and delete. This deletes all the nodes and subfolders in that folder, if it has any. To organize the notebooks in your folder, Long press to bring up the pop-up menu, then pin notebook at the top, so it's easier to find, especially if you are working on it. You can also lock note if it doesn't have any attachments or tags, and if you're not collaborating on it. You can either use iPad passcode, which is less secure, but also easier to remember. Or create password for more security. But there's no way to recover a password if you forget. 
With both, the app gives you the option to enable Face ID or Touch ID, whichever your iPad has. We recommend you enable it to make it easier to unlock your notes. To lock your notebook, tap the lock icon on the toolbar. Or go to View Note to unlock it. To remove the lock on a notebook, simply long press it and remove lock. You can also move the notebook to a different folder. You can also choose to view your notes as thumbnails instead of lists. And that is all about organizing your notes in folders when you're using Apple Notes. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next episode.